Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we will look into an analytical function called lead. So these are these analytical functions are very you know commonly asked in um, interviews like rank, dense rank, lead, lag, all those things. So I've already done a uh, few videos on rank and dense rank so you can go through that as well for learning for learning the analytical functions now let us move on to lead function so lead function what exactly it um, does is the this function is mainly used whenever you want to find the next row value within the same table okay used to find the next row value within the same table okay and um, you need not do an inner join instead of that you can use the lead function and also how the syntax of uh, lead looks like this you say lead then which column you want to use I mean which uh, which column on which column you want to see the next value that one then the context then the default value so here then our over partition clause it's very important that you use your over clause um, with all the analytical function then only you will be able to uh, you know get the uh, required output also you will be getting few errors Make sure the over clause is always present whenever using the analytical functions. Okay, so lead. What exactly happens is lead the column. You need to give the column name on which you want to do the lead. Okay, on which you want to look for the next value. Then context is uh, is nothing but its default value is going to be one. Okay, so if you say one, it is going to see for the next value. Okay, when you say two, it is going to leave the first. Uh, row and it's going to see the second row and if there is no value present then it is going to give the default value whatever you want to give you can either specify zero or some date whatever default value that you want so you can specify it or else the default value will always be null even though if you don't specify so this is how the syntax looks like for lead so let us get back to our SQL plus and see an example here so as usual I'll use our employee table so here I'm going to do a lead on the higher date so how I'm going to do is I'm going to say select department number and I'm going to say higher date comma lead and I'm going to say lead again higher date which on which column I want to do that then the context right so I'm going to say one then I'm going to say uh, let that be null itself there's no problem lead over I'm going to say order by higher date okay and this the uh, um, I'll give an alias name for this I'll say this is the next higher date okay from employee table so this is how it looks like so you can see for the higher date on uh, department number 20 happened on 17th December 80 and the next higher date after 17th December happened on 20th so after 20th it was 22nd so like that it will be seeing the next value you can see here 20th Feb it's going here then the 22nd Feb is looked up here on 22nd Feb so after 22nd Feb it is the 2nd April April 81 so it is just seeing the next value okay so and also you can see the last row after after 19th April it was 23rd May 87 was the next higher date but after 23rd May there was no any value that's why it is giving null value you can that has as I mentioned here uh, you can give any default value instead of null it will you know present you the default value whatever you are giving there so in the same way instead of um, you know giving one if you give it as 2 here what is going to happen is see on 17th December it uh, you know ignored the 20th Feb and it is fetching the 22nd Feb here so it is going to jump the first uh, the first um, row and it's going to go to the second row that's why it is the the context is I've given it as 2 
so um, let me make it more simple I'm going to say one year and I'm going to say over partition by department number let me partition it by department number and see how the result look like so for the department number 10 you can see the first hire date was on 9th June after that it was on 17th November the last hire date for the department 10 was on 23rd Jan 82 after that there was no any higher date that's the reason it is giving null value if you go to the 20 20th department number the first hire date was 17th December 80 and the last was on 23rd May 87 so after 23rd May 87 there is no any uh, hiring that went on the department number 20 so that's how we operate this um, um, you know lead function the analytical function so in the next tutorial I will come up with the lag it's also very simple once you know lead it's very simple lag is very simple I'll talk about that in our next uh, video so uh, hope you guys have understood and um, um, and also please uh, keep supporting my videos and thank you very much for watching mm -hmm.